because if we can apply some common sense and energetic thinking to this hypothesis, at a quantum level, everything is made of energy. And we humans are made of energy in our atoms. Okay? And the space between us is an invisible sea of fluctuating energy that stops all the clumps of atoms that make up me from merging into all the clumps of atoms that make up you, and trees, and animals, and chairs, and, and everything around us. Suppose you can get your mind around this, like two fishes swimming in the sea. The water connects them, and the water is touching both of them, though they both feel very separate. They don't even know it's there. So from that connection, any signal sent from one could pass through that medium and be decoded by the other, like a radio signal, which is why I think fish swim in shoals, all doing the same things. And birds and starlings murmur together in unison with the most incredible patterns with everybody in complete cohesion. You might say they are within an attractor field of energy and information, which they all share, they all contribute to, and they all unknowingly think as one and harmonize with. Now, I think it's the same with bees, ants, termites, and even plants like mushrooms. They're all connected with each other, and they all communicate their environment, sending out signals about what they each need to know, sending and receiving all that information, decoding it from each other, so that the sum of the whole of all of the parts can be far more successful. And when we watch nature documentaries, and we say, wow, that's so amazing. Nature is so intelligent. I would say, well, yes, it is. But most of us humans have been deceived into thinking that we're not part of it. And we've been told that we're the clever ones. We're the animals who can think. We're the smart ones because we can talk and we can think and we can make things. And we're separate from all of that. And I think our logic, reason, and our intellect has become too overused. And I think it's time that we wake up to the fact that we humans also live in an invisible sea of energy with its quantum fluctuations, with its zero point energy field, okay? With energy that connects us and connects us with nature and connects us with the environment around us and all the people around us and everything in that environment around us. Our immediate surroundings are constantly communicating with us. Nature is energetically broadcasting what it needs in any moment. And most of these needs are unique to that moment rather than something our domesticated logical brain can even begin to comprehend. And this is why, all through this course, right from the beginning, I've been asking you to consider how you might transform yourself from a thinking creature who feels to a feeling creature who thinks.